Hello everyone. It is Michelle Litwiller here with Owl Star Stampers and it is um, Wednesday, March 22nd and I am here for our weekly Facebook Live. So I have some new cards that I'm going to share with you tonight and I'm very excited about that. Um, so we're going to get crafting in just a few minutes. So I'm going to wait just for people to hop on and find me. So when you do, feel free to say hi. If you're watching the replay, you can let me know that too. And um, uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up or a heart if you enjoy it. And also you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Um, my YouTube channel is just Owl Star Stampers over on YouTube. So thank you so much, Corinne, for sharing. So awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me, while I'm waiting, I'm just going to make sure I have you know, something I was looking for. That hopefully I have it right here. Um... Hi everyone. All right, I got this, and I need this. Just looking for one more thing. Thank you, Wendy, for sharing. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Marsha and Tara. Um, I'm looking for my one stamp set. Here it is. All right. Now we're good to go. So, all right. Okay. So, where did my card go? Oh, here it is. I was like, where did my one card made? Sorry, my lighting, it goes like in and out. I must not have turned uh, my little, I have a light back here up a little bright enough but we'll uh we'll make it work i think it's just because it's keep showing my face so um good evening everyone so tonight i have um i have a couple cards to make with you using two different stamp sets so um i am excited to share those with you today hi sharon um and hello, we have some Debras. So thanks for joining us. Um, if you ordered the Easter Stamp Camp or our card club, it's going. The card club is going to be shipped early. Like, uh, so I always ship card club on the twenty fifth, unless the twenty fifth is on a Sunday, and then it gets shipped on the twenty fourth. So this week that lands on a Saturday, but I'm going to try to have them all shipped out by Friday and then also uh, your Easter stamp camp. So you can be looking for those tutorials. So um, those will be going out soon so you guys can have fun creating. And um, all right, so we're going to get right in. So I have a new host code for um from today through the end of the month and if you ordered um this week you will be still um included um but the thing is is you have to i need you to use the host code uh because i cannot add the host code um so um here's the new host code and if you don't know how to add it, if you're on my email list, when the, there's an email that will come out about the replay, all you have to do is in there, it'll say you can shop here or whatever to get in on the deal. And it's already like embedded in there. My husband does that for me. So you, um, if you click the email for the shopping in, if you click the link in the email that will come out tomorrow, the host code will already be um, in there for you. Okay, so um, if your order goes over $150, though, don't use the host code and I'll still give you all the goodies But because then you can get the stamp and rewards and you earn free products yourself. So um, I have a little spring break special for you. So if you uh, use this code and place an order starting um, 
tonight or if you did in the in since Monday um, and your order is um, at least $50 you're gonna get a free class sent to you and um, it's a class that I designed using a new set of uh, a new bundle called the Rhino Ready so this is in our online store you can purchase it um, there's a stamp set and a set of dies you'll need the dies to do some intricate cutting of the trees um, I'll give you all the cardstock you need to cut those out but I'll show you the cards in a little bit um, I'm gonna make one of the cards with you um, or actually probably make two of the cards with you tonight um, and then I'll show you the other two so you'll get to make four cards in this class and it's using one bundle that Rhino Ready which is on our online exclusive you're also going to get uh, this is like what your packet will look like. You'll get a full package of the classic matte dots, which I use, and you'll get the designer paper that you need to create your cards. So um, you'll get this with every $50. If you place a $50 order with this code, you will get this packet in the mail. And again, I'm going on spring break next week. So this is my little spring break special. You get this um, really cute class. Now, I do want to, um, whoa, my brush just fell, just a second. I need that for tonight. My little blending brush fell off. So, um, okay, so tonight, so I'm gonna be using that Rhino Ready stamp set. Again, If uh, to find that, you just go to the stampinup.com or you can go to my online store and in the top you can type in online exclusives or if you type in Rhino Ready, it will pop up. Okay, so that's how you find that bundle. Tonight I'm featuring the bundle I'm using for April Card Club, so for next month. And it is called Paradise Palms, this bundle right here. I'm going to take off the host code. I'll put it back up. So some of you might want to order this bundle right now. Um, so you have it for April. Um, if you did not know, uh, I think it's like the end of this month, they're going to announce the retired list. And I have no idea if this will be retiring or not. This is in our annual catalog. And so I'm telling you now so you can order it if you're in the card club. Now you may have another stamp set with palm trees. So you could use that too. But I did use um, the dies and the palm the stamp set so um, I have when I share this I have it all wrote down right here there's the the cart uh, the stamp sets $23 the dies are 35 and this is for the April card club so if you're in the card club this is the products that we're using for April and again I don't know the inventory situation I have no inside information if this stamp set is getting carried over, if it's going to retire. All I do know is that some products sell out very quickly based on inventory. So I want to give you a heads up that this is what I'm using for April um, if you want to get it now. Okay. And we're going to, um, I'm going to show you. So let's get started. We're going to use this in our, um, in our first card tonight. Okay. I forgot to plug in my webcam. Just one second. Sorry. I can't turn the screen down without it plugged in. So it'll just take a second, hopefully. Um, oh, good, Karen. You just, uh, Karen just got this stamp set. Um, there we go. So here is, this is for the card club right here. All right. And I'm gonna, our first card tonight is gonna be using the stamp set also. So this will give you another idea to use this. We're also going to be using um, blending, the blending brushes um, for this card. I also, I did use a blending brush on one of the cards in the card club. So a little sneak peek, you're gonna be getting a blending brush in your kit, but one of the new little mini ones, the little mini ones look like this. So you're gonna get one of these. So see how it's like a little bit smaller? So these are our regular ones. This is the, the little mini one. So what I like to do is I have mine labeled like orange and yellow and um, 
pink. I have, for a lot of the colors, I even have like light pink and light blue and stuff like that. Um, so I have those, but then they just came out with these little mini ones. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. So you'll get one of these in your card club kit for April. So I'm just doing this like a little bit early because next week I'm going to be gone, like I said, on spring break with my family. So here's our first card. So we are going to be using Coastal Cabana. So Coastal Cabana is a turquoise blue. It is one of my favorite colors and I hope I get to see next week a lot of water that is this color. It will make me so happy. <laughs> so um, this is going to be our card base though. So we have a Coastal Cabana card base right here. Then I have these two pieces here. I have a piece of basic black um, that is five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. I hope I said that right. And then I have a white piece that is just an eighth of an inch smaller. So it is five by three and three quarters. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of blending in the background. Now the dies are really cool. I already went and die cut two of these. Um, let me show you the dies. So there's this, this is what I die cut in basic black. And um, then we have, you can cut out some palm trees, a, a clump of palm trees, uh, the little greenery. There's this really intricate piece here. You got some grass, the coconuts, a little sun, and then some grass. So it comes with, the dies come with a lot and um, they're really nice. Now for the card club, let me show you. For the card club, we will die cut your, your palm tree you need, we'll die cut that. Um, and then the other pieces you could hand cut out if you didn't have the dies. So the dies aren't necessary, but um, they are a great set of dies. So you really just need the stamp set for the card club if you want your cards to look just like mine. So here's a sneak peek of card club for April. So we have this card. Isn't that so pretty? We have this one. This is beautiful with that sun in the background. This one has some vellum. And then... Um, Oops, this one right here uh, with the palm trees there. So that's the sneak peek of our card club. You get to make two of each of those using this set. So here we're going to use, where's my, I have a piece of scrap paper. Where did I put it? Uh, there's too many things on my desk right now. I keep moving things out of the way and then I they're really out of the way. Well, I think I found another scrap paper. So we're gonna go with that. So. We're gonna create our background here. And so to do that, I'm using three different ink pads. I'm using Daffodil Delight, Crush Curry, and Pumpkin Pie. So two yellows and an orange. And Lori said it's going to be hot in Florida next week. Oh good, I can't wait. It's freezing cold here today in Michigan. We're flying into Florida and then we're going on a cruise. So. Uh, so here we go. So here are our shades of, we're going to create like a sunset looking background. Don't let this intimidate you. It's really not too difficult. So I'm going to use my, um, my yellow and my orange brush. And if you only have one of these brushes, that's okay. You can, um, clean them out with water if you want. I actually like having one for each color because I think they work better once the color builds up in them. That's just my own personal preference and that's why I have one for each color. But if you don't um, only have what you have, if you only have one, then you can wash this out with like some Dawn dish soap and let it dry and then change colors. So that's an option. That's not how I do it, but you can do it that way. So we're gonna start with our lightest color and work our way up from the bottom from the bottom to the top. So the first thing I do is I, I just re-inked my ink pad, the Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna go and swirl it in the ink pad a little bit. And I'm going to first, on the scrap paper, go off a little bit so it doesn't have like a harsh 
line or anything and I'm turning it sideways and I'm going to just start in circular motions blending this in. Hopefully it's not shaking my table. And I'm going to go up about a third of the way and I just keep going and it just blends so seamless with our ink and this is our basic white paper. Now if you use some non stampin' up paper, I don't know how it's going to blend, but I know with our paper it blends like a dream. Like there's no lines or anything. Now if you do get a line, just keep blending and practice does make perfect. I'm not saying you can't do that on our paper, but if you go off first and then just swirl, 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 you'll get like a really nice um, color. Now as you can tell, it's a little bit darker and it fades up and that's okay. So and with my same yellow brush, I'm going to open Crush Curry now. And this is a little bit of a deeper yellow. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just swirling right in there. I'm going to go off, do a little circle like that. And now from here, I'm going to color in like here. And then I'm going to also cross over some of the yellow here. Tara said, I will go in a suitcase with you. Um, that would be fun, wouldn't it? My suitcase limit is 40 40 pounds though because we have to fly like from an airline I've never flown with because holy camoly the plane tickets are really expensive and we live in Michigan so we're flying to Florida um, and normally the weight limit is 50 for your suitcase but not with the airline we're flying with so hopefully I'll go smooth I usually only fly with Delta so I'm a little bit nervous with about that, but the our the lady that helped us assured me that it should be totally fine. <laughs> so okay, so now you can now I have um it kind of is lighter and it gets a little bit more yellow, a little bit darker yellow, and now I'm gonna switch. To, I'm gonna leave these open in case I want to go back to my yellow, but now I'm gonna go into my pumpkin pie, which is our orange color, and this I'm going to do this top half. So I'm going to swirl in here and I'm going to do the same thing. Before I go right in, I'm going to go off a little bit and then just kind of blend. Now in my other one, I kind of did have a little line. So after I said that, I thought, oh, I better warn you might, you could, but it's not as common. So I start out light and then I can add more color. So if you can always add color, you can't take color away. So just, um, just remember that. So I'm going in and I'm adding another layer. It also depends on how heavy handed you are, like how strong or, you know, or how much pressure when you're doing your little circular motion too. So that all plays into how your background piece is going to look. Now I'm, tr I'm pulling this down into the yellow a little bit. And I'm just keep swirling around. Hi, Natalie and Kara. Okay, so I still want some more color. So I'm gonna just keep adding a little bit more. I'm almost to where I like it. Okay, so this looks pretty. But I feel like the orange, now I want to blend it all in with more yellow. So I'm going to close up um, what was the March 8th class, Amy? Was that the um, virtual class for March? Because if so, yes, that went out in the email the very next day. Um, that was attached in the email. And if you need it, you can just email me and I'll have my online assistant, Lydia, forward it to you. So I'm going back into Daffodil Delight and I'm just going to blend this all in. So I know I just sent the classes out at the end of last week, but the, the tutorial was emailed out like the day after we did that class live. Okay, so... And just blending this in with yellow. And I'm just going over the whole 
bottom part now. Okay, so okay, so just email me and, and um so I number one so I remember and I have your email and I can just forward it to Lydia and then Lydia will send that to you, Amy. Okay. There's here's that. Okay, so this is kind of what our background looks like now. So that's it, it's pretty easy. And you could only use one yellow if you want and just do like multiple layers. But since I have all the ink colors, I just did the lighter yellow and then the darker yellow and then the pumpkin pie. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to take these pieces right here and I'm going to, uh, wait, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so in the dies, I have the little grass here. It kind of made little silhouettes, right? And then I have these palm trees. Doesn't this look so beautiful once you add the palm trees? Oh my goodness. This is, it's easy. It's so easy to do with those brushes. They make you seem like an artist. Um, and all you, and it's just a little bit of ink on the brush and just swirl around and just add more ink until you get the color that you like. Just blend them together. Okay, now I'm just adding a little bit of this glue on here. And this one I want to go off. I want it to be a little bit lower. And the other one I'm going to have go a little bit higher. So see how that one is kind of going. Um off the page there. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a second and now this one is going to go kind of up like this. So I'm going to add this here. Okay, this, just add a little bit of glue too. A little bit goes a long way. Also, if you are in my local card club, we normally meet the last week of the month. I think I've contacted everybody. Um, if for some reason I forgot, and hopefully you're, you know that we're meeting now the first week of April. I had to shift it back. So, okay. So then this one is going right here like this. Okay. So this is what we have. It's kind of going off the edge there. I'm going to leave that there. And then I'm going to take this little like grassy thing and put it down here. But before I do that, I'm going to take my scissors, just flip this over and snip that off there like that. So there, we're going to add this down here. Okay. So now, uh, Joanne, yeah, you can watch the beginning to see how I, um, how I did this and some of the other things I went over. So this is this one's a little bit different than the first one I made. Um, the first one I didn't add this little grass at the bottom, but I like that because it kind of hides the little the bottom of the palm trees. So I really do like that a lot. Then we're gonna go ahead and add this to our black, and I'm not gonna use the liquid glue anymore. That's not my favorite glue, just because I get um, sticky all over. It's just me. It's not that the glue is not bad. It's not that the glue is bad. It's just that I have issues with the glue. So then we're going to layer this. Again, this is just an eighth of an inch border on here. Okay. And then we're going to layer this to our Coastal Cabana card base. So... I'm gonna put this here like that. So you could leave the card just like this if you didn't know, if you didn't want any words on the outside, or you can just add them in the inside. But we're not done. I do have words. So in the stamp set, there's some really great sentiments in the stamp set. There's one that says "Happy Birthday." Um, this one says retirement wishes. 
This one says, I hope you find a little paradise wherever you may be. And then this one down here says, wishing you a warm and beachy kind of day. And again, it has this little piece, which I use for like sand. I use it for water. Um, you could use it for backgrounds. This like some grass. You can build the palm trees over here. There's a whole little clump of palm trees, a little coconuts, and then a little sun. So um, I took the one that says, I hope you find a little paradise wherever you may be. And I stamped that on black with Versamark right here, our Versamark ink pad, and did a little bit of white embossing powder and I heat set that. So I already did that ahead of time to um, save time. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, um, you can just cut this. I'm gonna cut this one down. So I did a card like this earlier, but this one I'm gonna do a little bit different. So you can just see kind of what you like, or they're very similar though. So I'm gonna just cut this out. Again, I did Versamark on the black cardstock. Then I poured white embossing powder and then I used a heat tool to set it. It makes it like bubbly and raised and uh, just really cool looking. And the white just pops uh, against that black. Since we have like the little silhouettes. Okay, so I just trimmed this out is all I did. So there's our little sentiment now. And then you can, we can just pop this up here, or you can take a little bit of black uh, baker's twine from our Essentials Baker Twine Pack, uh, which has like black and white and vanilla and crumb cake and a gray. I don't know which gray, but a gray. So uh, it comes with all the colors. We can make a little boat. This is like one of my favorite things I've been doing a lot lately. So you know how we used to just like take the um, and kind of weave it and then like pinch it in the middle and and then like stick it down like that. So you can still do that or you can just make a bigger bow, just a bigger bow. And then you can kind of do the same thing like stick it behind and it does like the same effect but it's just with a bow. So I'm behind here, I'm gonna take a dimensional or two. And there's one, I think I can fit one more. And hi, Penny from Florida. Okay, so we have that. And then you can kind of position this where you want and add your little sentiment and then I always like to fray my end so I just kind of un you see that I did that I just took my fingers and I untwisted the ends like that here is our card isn't it just so pretty and it is actually a very very easy card to create with the blending brushes in the background. These are just die cuts from the palm dies. Here's the card I made earlier today. So you can see this one, I went a little bit lighter on my blending. It's a little bit lighter. This one I didn't add the little grass and this one I kept in a square. So you can do it. So again, depending how, how much pressure and how much ink you add, you will get a different look with your backgrounds. So, but it's very easy to do this. And again, this is a bundle. Uh, this is what we're using for our card club for April. So again, the retirement list is coming out. I don't know what's on it, but I encourage you to get the, the stamp set while it's still available. So the stamp set's $23 and then the dies were 35. So, um, a really cute set. So there's um, there's a card for you, okay? So I just want to do inspire you to use uh, that. Another fun way, so I wanted to show you something else, is if you take, 
a piece of cardstock and you cut out a shape. So you can die cut it or use a punch to get like a circle. Then, um, so this is how I did the one card in our card club. So then you can, here, let me, I'm not gonna make a whole card, but I wanna show you this because this is just something that I always am like, I forget or I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, so if you are in the card club, I'm pretty sure we're gonna give you this template too. So you'll have a template. Your template will be like this, okay? Then you just put it right over your card, right where you want it. And then for this card, I took light pink and yellow. So let me get my, and I use soft or so saffron and petal pink. So I used the lightest yellow that we had and a very light orangey pink. Um, and this is what I did. So this is like how I did one of the cards for the card club. Is I'm not gonna make the whole card, but I'm gonna show you this little technique. So you take your template, again, it's just a piece of cardstock and you cut out a circle. Again, if you're in the club, you'll get your own template to use. So there we have that. Then you just hold it down with your fingers and don't let it move. Or you can use like washi tape or some post-it note tape to keep it there, which that's actually a great idea. I should take my own advice and um, do that. So I'm going to just tape this down. Okay, and then I have a little my little scrap paper here. So I'm gonna start with the yellow. Again, this is so saffron, so it's a little bit lighter of a yellow. Again, go off, and I'm going to do the bottom part. Now, the, the main thing is this piece is a little bit bigger than my piece behind it, so I don't wanna go all the way off the edge. But normally, I, I make them the same size, so it won't really matter. So I have a little bit of yellow like that, and then I have my light pink, so this one does say light pink. Um, going to go in with that petal pink color, swirl it around, go off on my scrap paper, and then fill in the top half and blend it together, okay? I think the key is like to blend it, to blend the two colors together also. So there's that. I need a little bit more yellow on the bottom, I can tell, so. I'll go back in with my yellow. And then a little bit more with my pink. Okay. There. So now this is kind of what it looks like. Then you peel your little wash tape or post-it tape off. And then when you remove that, look at that. You have the most beautiful sun setting and it's in two different colors and it's just blended seamlessly with your little template that you have. So then you can go in with your stamps right here and you can, here you go. I just have all the tools out today. I'm going to put this in my Stamparatus. I got my little magnets here and here. That's just keeping it in place. I'm going to put my little palm trees here. I'm going to pick them up. And then I'm going to grab black, Memento Black. And I'm going to ink this up. And um, I got a little bit of ink on the edge. And even with this, I don't want to press and mess that up. So I'm just going to get a little baby wipe. My chamois is not near me. So I'm just going to wipe that off there. Okay, and then I'm just going to press these palm trees. Okay, like that. Then if you want it a little bit darker... 
I mean, that one looks good, but because I do have the Stamparatus, I can do it a second time, just make it a little bit deeper, and boom, and have, like, you need this set, you guys. Look at how beautiful that is. So, there is, and then you can just, like, layer this to your you know, your card base, add a little bit of ribbon, and there you got another cute card. But the inspiration is this from the card club. Isn't that so, isn't that so pretty? So you get to make that in the card club. All right. So I just wanted to show that because that is a really fun way to do uh, the circle with the set in the palm trees. If palm trees isn't your thing, you could still make these cards with any type of tree that you have. So um, you could make them with, we have, I'm just drawing a blank. Uh, I want to say sheltering tree, but I don't know if that's the name. We have uh, several tree stamp sets that you could make just any type of tree with, though. But there is that. Isn't that so cool? Um so there's that one. Okay, now we're going to get into the cards that you're going to get if you want to take advantage of my spring break special. So these cards, so I'm going to make two cards for you. And these are two of four cards that you'll get if you order with the host code. So here's the host code you have now until um, not this Saturday, but uh, not this Friday, but next Friday. So a week in like two-ish days or so. Is what you have so we're gonna make again if you place at least a $50 order you're gonna get to make these cards look at how cute these cards are so we're gonna make a cup we're gonna make this card right now and here's what your card packet will look like um, again if you go over 150 just don't use the code so in your packet are gonna be the classic matte dots um, and so if your order is only $35 uh, or if it's under $50, but it's in between $35 and $50, you'll get the card pieces, but you won't get the embellishment. So, um, so anyway, um, here's the pieces. So I'm looking for the pieces to this card right here. And there they are. And then I'm going to need um, like some of these pieces too. So I will give you the scrap pieces to do any die cutting for your hippo and your little tree and stuff. So you'll need the dies to this. Again, this is the Rhino Ready Bundle in our online exclusive. And so um, we will be doing a little bit of that. But look at this card. It opens up like this. Isn't this so cool? Okay, so that's what we're making right now. So the first thing that you're gonna need is the card base is actually a piece of mossy meadow that's just a quarter sheet, five and a half by four and a quarter. Yes, Carrie, you won the stamp set from our team meeting make and takes. I was so excited um, for that you won. And then we have a piece of vellum that measures, um, this measures eight and a half by three and a quarter. And so this piece you're gonna fold in half. This is actually gonna be our card a little card piece and um, it's gonna this is gonna go on our front like that so go ahead and you'll fold this piece in half then you'll get a piece that measures this is um, designer paper do you remember this paper it's in our email catalog um, so I'll give you the pieces that you need to create these cards so this piece we need to cut down to Again, I, I just cut it the wrong way. Uh-oh. Well, this one's going the other way. So yours might go in either direction. So five and a quarter by four. My little vines are just going horizontal instead of vertical is all. It will still work. I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, so there we have that. That's going to go there. And then... What else do we need? I'm pulling my hair out, not on purpose, but 
um, we can go ahead and uh, attach this down. So let's do that because there's going to be uh, this piece goes here. So this, again, this rhino set is online and it's so cute. I thought it was cute. And then you'll have two pieces of uh, basic white, one for the outside and one for the inside. And just to give you an idea, these are pretty small and they measure three and a quarter by two and a quarter. And so um, we're gonna do a little stamping on them. So let me grab the stamp set. So the stamp set is right here again. It says, you're built tough. Hello, friend. You're stronger than you think. It's a great day, and I hope your birthday is wild. And then you have these three little hippos, a little party, little horn thing, and a little bird. Some grass, and look at that little bird on his back. And then the dies come out like... There's all these dyes. So the hippos, there's trees, there's treetops, there's leaves, uh, little tropical leaves, um, a party hat. You can do like little vines and stuff. So anyway, we are going, we're going to be needing these in a minute. But the first thing is let's do a little bit of stamping it. I'm just using um, old olive or you could use mossy meadow. Um, and so I'm going to stamp some grass along here in with this stamp what did i do with here it is i moved that block and then so we're going to ink this up and we're going to i'm just going to go all along the bottom oh this is a lot darker than my other one i must have re-inked this um so there's that and then what I like to do is I went, I stamped off once and I kind of went over them to make it look, to fill in any lines. Like, cause there was a little bit of gap in between there. So I stamped off and I just went all over again to kind of fill in that whole bottom. So that's what I did there. Then we're going to take, you'll have a little, um, little strip here. Yeah, that tree would look cool in that circle. You're right. Good idea. Um, so then we're going to take our, I stamped this hello friend. So, and I just did that in the old olive also. I think I'm going to trim mine down a little bit. So there's that hello friend. And then... So I've been, I don't know if I've shared this with you guys, I've been to um, Africa twice and we actually saw some rhinos in their natural habitat the, the one time I went. Um, it was pretty cool and hippos and um, they're pretty huge <laughs> in real life. It's like pretty incredible. Um, okay, where did my, here's my scrap paper. On the gray granite piece, we're going to stamp our rhino and then we're going to cut it out. So I, so you can stamp the rhino on white, which I did on all the other cards. But on this card, I stamped it in gray. And then this, all that this does is it makes it so you don't have to color it in. If you're ever in a hurry or maybe you don't love coloring, then here's a little hack for you. There you go. He's already colored in. Um, and then, oops, I need to stamp, we're almost done, we can put it together. I need to stamp on the inside piece, this little birdie, um, just right here on the inside is gonna be that little bird. Okay, now we're gonna start putting this together. If you could see, like, I have no area here. I gotta move some things around real quick. Okay, so we're done with this. Let me get this out of the way. We're done with this. And here we go. So I'm going to cut out my little rhino. I should have done this ahead of time. I, I didn't. So we're just gonna make it go really fast. 
So we're going to cut out this little rhino right here with his little friend on the back. Just make sure you line it up good. And if you're worried about it wiggling, you can use that post-it tape, which I use on that other, doing that circle. And you will just run this through your die cutting machine. Mine is not flat, so it's not going. There it goes. Okay. Here's this. I just saw a comment about rhinos, not hippos. Did I call them hippos? Um, the right. Okay, so there's that. Oh, and then the, the next thing is we'll just, since we're here, is we will cut out our little tree. And so here's the tree top and here's like the ground. And I gave you a piece of mossy meadow. So we're just going to do that. And then um, while we have it, we can probably do the little um, tree, the little tree, the little tree branch here. If you had adhesive sheets, you could um, add glue on the bottom, and that would work too. Oh yeah, I call I whatever. They're both African animals. <laughs> I saw them both in Africa: hippos and rhinos. But why this thing is keeps catching on here. I'm glad you know what I mean. Except for my plate. There we go. It's not. My desk is like something must be stuck under here. Because this is not. It's driving me crazy today. Okay. So here is this. And there's that. There's our little tree top and here's our little, this isn't the ground covering I want. I want a bigger one. So, shoot, I gotta do one more really quick. All right, here's, Here's this. Did you know that in Africa, they t say that hippos kill more people than lions? I know we're doing the rhino set, but we were on a little thing and we saw both of them, like I was saying. But they told us that hippos actually kill more people. There's more deaths than actual lion encounters there. Obviously out in the jungle, which is where I was. But I did not know that hippos were hippos were so dangerous. And I don't know I don't know any facts about the rhino, but I do remember that about the hippo anyway. Okay, so now we're going to put this together. So what I did is I took the um, Daffodil Delight uh, marker and I just dabbed a little color on the little birdie here. Because he is gray, so I just added a little bit of color. Actually, I might have used the, um, that has a little smudge, so I'm not going to use that. Um, I might have used the meat, the regular Daffodil Delight right here, the dark. So, um, just a little, yeah, that shows up a lot better. It's just a little bit of the Daffodil Delight. Okay, so there's that. And then we gave him a little cheek. And this idea I got from my friend Jennifer Hill, where she gave a little hip. See, it now I did almost call it a hippo. The rhino, a little cheek. You just add a little circle there. Okay, so that's so cute. And then we're going to put this together. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is we have our vellum piece here. This is going to go... On it so I'm going to add that first now your glue will kind of show through on vellum so just 
but I think it's okay on this card. So we're gonna center this here, just like that. And then I got a little smudge there, but I guess I got ink on my hands. I do have a little sand eraser. I don't know if that will get it off or not. I guess it did pretty good. There. The little mark is gone. So then I'll take my... Oh, Penny! This is like perfect for him. Penny said her brother takes care of the rhinos at Bush Gardens in Florida. That's awesome. As a child, I love... We used to go to Bush Gardens like once a year. Um, when my grandparents lived in Florida and we loved, that was our feet. We liked that like more than Disney. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe. So now what I'm doing is because this is the same size, you see what I did? I just put this over top the front one, add glue on the back and I closed it and I sealed that. So here, so now they're perfectly lined up like this. So then on the back here, you're going to add glue right there. And now this, you're going to pull in our card base that we have. And you're going to go ahead and stick this down like that. Okay. Now we're going to take our bigger piece of the little ground covering. You could, I did a smaller piece. I don't even know what I did with it here. See, I did... Um, this one so you could like layer these or whatever I'm only going to use the bigger one and I'm going to put it over on this side so add a little bit of glue here and put that down and then we have our tree and the trees in Africa really do look like this I can't tell you off the top of my head what the name of the tree is called I'm sure somebody watching this or watching the replay will know I didn't brush up on my facts but I have photos because um, they are really really cool nothing like we have here in Michigan anyway so I'm gonna put this little thing here and tap that down and then I'm going to take this little tree top and I'm going to pop that up with dimensionals. Now you can have it go flat also. Um, also, whenever I go live, I kind of like forget all things, even like some common sense things. Because when you go live or if, if you have ever gone live, let me just tell you, you forget a lot of things or say the wrong things all the time. <laughs> At least I do. So... You can either have this go down or you can have those little things go on top. I did it both ways. This one I'm just going to have go like that. And then we're going to take our hippo. See, I called it a hippo again, the rhino, and put the rhino up on dimensionals. Okay, where they are, I don't know. Here's more minis. I want the regular size ones, which are hidden. We had a hippo set for celebration not too long ago. Do you guys remember that one? That one was really a cute set as well. I have a feeling that animal sets, cute little animal sets people like. That's why they keep giving it to us. Okay, so now our rhino is going to go right here like that. We're going to take our hello friend and cut this and this oh Lori said cut the horn off and you have a hippo okay then I'm gonna take so here's my hello friend I just trimmed mine down to make it a little bit skinnier I want it more like a half an inch and I'm gonna put that here and then I took linen thread and I made a bow. So you'll need your own linen thread again. Um, this is like an essential item that you guys all need in your craft stash, like with your glue. You need linen thread. 
So go ahead and take a piece of that and tie a bow. And then we're going to add this on the side here with a glue dot. So grab your glue dots. These also are essential. So, all right, here is that. And then the last thing you're gonna do is I took your, again, these are gonna be the dots. You're gonna get the classic matte dots and they have white, vanilla, gray, and black. And I took three of the gray ones and I added them on here. I didn't grab my package that's open and I just totally messed up my drawer. So I'm not going to waste time and search for them. And I don't wanna use these in case I give these away. But um, you're going to add three little dots, and then your card is going to look like this. See? One, two, three. Isn't this so cute? How, and you could put whatever you wanted up there. And then it's kind of fun because it opens this way. And then you have that. If you needed to write more, just add another little rectangle on this side as well. Because that will actually hide that that side if you want and then you can write on both sides if you really needed to write a whole lot go ahead and add another piece to the back there but there's the there's our little card isn't it so cute so again this is one of four cards you'll, you'll get for the ordering special for now through next week okay card one let me know what you think of this one with the fun vellum and the little fold. It's kind of like a mini card on the top. So there's that one. Okay, the next card, I'm trying to think of which one we're gonna do next. Let's just do the next one here on my list. So we need, let me find my pieces. So your scrap paper, you'll find like all your um, designer paper, then you'll have a quarter sheet of white. That's to do any stamping and coloring of your rhino. And then you'll have your um, other cardstock pieces to do any die cutting. Those are going to be always on the top of your kit. Now your kit will be in the envelopes too, so you'll have envelopes. But the next card, the piece I need is going to be this one right here. It's like these little swirls. And then it is a, um, I'm gonna, it's this right here. Okay, those are the pieces I need. And I need to cut this piece down to, um, this piece is uh, five inches by three and three quarters. So we're gonna cut this, that's a score. This one, it doesn't matter which way I cut it because they're just little swirly things. Okay, you'll have a circle in there that I believe is about a, I think it's maybe a two and a half inch circle. So we have that. This is Mossy Meadow. We're gonna fold that in half. And then you have an old olive card base as well. Okay, so Old Olive, Mossy Meadow. See, we're going with the jungle theme. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna layer these two together. Now we have tons of ribbon that you can add. I'm not including any ribbon, but you could add, um, you could add linen thread, which is what I did, or you could add any of, we have like that really thick natural trim. We have the white frayed ribbon. We have all kinds of, um, this is the one I was, like we have this ribbon that you could add to so many different ones that would look great with this. But what I did is I just took some linen thread because like I said, this stuff goes with everything and you can add a little bit. It's not gonna bulk up your card. Um, I'm just gonna tie a little bow off to the side here. And Oh, I'm glad you guys like the card. I'm just seeing your um, comments come through. So, 
So there's that. Okay. Tying that. Then I'm trying to slide it over a little bit, but it's not going. So I'm just going to add this down to our card base. And then on this piece, we're gonna stamp, I'm making this a birthday card. Hope your birthday is wild. So we're gonna take that. I think I took um, Mossy Meadow. You could use Old Olive, any of the greens. The Old Olive, the Mossy Meadow will work. Um, I have the word sweater wrote on my hand because I actually have to submit something to Stampin' Up! for our incentive trip in May, like a size of a sweater I would wear. And the deadline is approaching and I keep forgetting to do that. So I'm hoping, and I'm talking about it, so now maybe I'll remember when I'm done here to go and do that. <laughs> but it was like weird. We have to like do the measurement in centimeters because like they're making a, or we're, get, we're being gifted an authentic Norwegian sweater. And so anyway, I don't know my size in centimeters. <laughs> so I need to do that. All right, this is the hippo we're using for, see, this is the rhino we're using for this card. There we go. And we're going to take that scrap piece of white right here and stamp it in memento black and I'm just going to put it right down there and then I used um I used smoky slate the smoky slate stampin blends to color it in and it went really really quick so I um but you know what? This one is gray granite, and so I'm using it, and it's the dark one. So we'll see what this looks like in gray granite. It's kind of dark. Well, you'll get to see what it looks like. Okay. So, yeah, the other ones I did smoky slate. I don't know where my marker is. So we're just coloring this in. Um, you could use watercolor pencils. I'm just being careful around the eye. I don't want to color in their eye. And then go down here. Okay. And here. So we're almost done. And then when I'm done with this, I will show you up close the other two cards because I'm only going to make this, I'm making this card and then the one I did. But then if you'll make, you'll get four of the rhino cards that you can make. Or you could substitute it out with the hippos if you have the hippo set or any animal that you want. But this set is really, really cute. So. Okay. So there's our rhino. And then I'm going to just add a little bit. I'm going to go over just a little bit on this side where these little lines are. And just add a little second layer. You can do all kind of blending and stuff if you're fancy. Okay, there we go. So there's our rhino. I said it, I said it correctly this time, our rhino. Then we're going to cut it out. Not with our scissors, but and then with this piece of old olive I gave you, you're gonna do a few little leaps. So bring in your machine, hopefully. It's flat. There's nothing underneath it. Okay, so we have, we're going to have our, this little rhino thing here. And I need to get out the die that is right here. And I'm going to put this on and put my little post-it tape there. And then I have this old olive piece and I'm going to look at these little tropical leaves. So we have another bundle that has these, like a punch that kind of looks like this. 
this would work perfect or kind of coordinate with both of these. So I'm going to do this all at the same time. So then this just goes right on through and here we go over here. So there's our little leaves and then our final. And I'll probably, you'll probably have plenty or like even leftover um, papers to do more. If you want more of those leaves, you can go ahead and die cut however many you want, but I just added two. Okay, so now we are assembling this card. So you have your circle here. We're going to put that up with dimensionals. And then we, and I'll put this right here. Then I did take a little bit of old olive and I just, where is, this guy is going to go here. So kind of over here, he has some grass to sit on. And then I always like to take my color lifter and just kind of blend out the edges a little bit. And this actually needs to move over a hair. So I just kind of move that over just a little bit. And then our little hippo, I want, I, now I keep calling it a hippo. The rhino I want popped up. Okay, so then we put, I put a couple dimensionals here and then it's going to go just like that. And then these little leaves. I'm just going, we're going to add like that with a little bit of this. So I'm just going to have them coming from behind. All right, and then you're going to take those little dots. And for this one, I took the white ones. See, there's white, and so the white or the vanilla, you could color with any of your blends and change them colors. You can make them green, pink, yellow, purple, whatever you want, or leave them the color they are. So I added um, three of those on, and with the magic, I have it right here. Do you see one, two, three? And there is our finished card. So this one was in Smoky Slate, and this is in Gray Granite. So very similar. But there's that card. So um, there's our second rhino card. Yes. And so again, you will get to make, you'll get the cards. If you want to place your order, you're going to get to make this card that we just did. You'll get the pieces. Now you'll need your own ink and stamp set, right? So you'll get to make this card that we did earlier. You'll get to make this card, and then two more. You're gonna to get to make this card. Look at this, this one is so cute. We will um, die cut this, this piece for you. See that cool edging? So that is from a new set of dies online too, from our online exclusive. That is, um, it's called, right here. This is what it looks like, radiating stitches dies. So this is the one that, and then there's like these other ones and this heart and these circles. So we will die, do this little die um, for you. But then you will have to die cut all your little trees and your little bottoms here and your hippos, or you can cut them out. So that's why um, you'll get your card stock to do the die cutting. But isn't this card so cute? And you can put whatever sentiment you want. I put it's a great day on that one. And then the last card that you'll get to make, because you're doing four, is this one right here. And this one says, you, you're you stronger than you think. And so we will cut out the little stitched, this is a stitched little circle. And the um, heart. If I say hippo, I just hope you know I mean rhino. Um, so there's this card. And then this little piece um, is just a two inch. And so I, you'll get the designer paper for all three of them. 
for the three that I use, this one only uses um, cardstock. So those are the four cards that you will get to make in this class. Again, I used the Rhino Ready bundle. Um, you could use any animal that you want. This one is adorable. I hope you like it, and I hope that this uh, sold it for you. On this card, I use the little vanilla dots. They might look like they're white on camera, but they're actually vanilla. And then on this one, I used gray. So I use gray and white, so I mix and match them. You could also use the black ones too. So these work perfect for this set of cards. But this is what you'll get to make for the for my spring break class, my spring break special. So spend $35, at least $35, you'll get just the pieces to do this. If you bump it up to at least 50, you're also going to get the full embellishment. Um, you'll just need your own ink, stamp set, and some linen thread or whatever ribbon that you would like to use. So I hope that you like these cards. I think they're so cute and fun. And I know I'm 43 years old and I would love to get a rhino card in the mail. Um, you can definitely use them for kids, but I think that um, pretty much anyone, if they got a card like this in the mail, it would definitely put a smile on their face. So those, that's the class that you will get. And again, you have until next Friday with this host code right here. So let me put up the host code again. Um, the host code with the link will be in the email. Um, if you don't use the code, I don't um, know that you want it attached to this class. And again, Stampin' Up! won't let me add any more um, codes to my online order. So I'm just, I keep, I sound like a broken record, but <laughs> there's that. So, yep, you'll have all the other pieces to do. Look, at the other two cards in there. And yours will be in envelopes, too. So, just to recap, those are the cards. And the cards, the other card we made tonight was this one right there. Isn't that so pretty? And then I showed you how to use the mask to create a card like this because the Paradise Palms is what we're using for Card Club for April. And I have no idea if it's going to be on that retired list or not. So I highly encourage you to purchase that while it's still available. Um, like, so here's the stamp set and here's the dies um, for the cards we're doing next month. And I showed some sneak peeks of them right there. They're really beautiful cards, really elegant. Um, I do love them. And last but not least, I'm in the works for, um, I'm in the works for getting my spring retreat out. Um, I was thinking about holding off until May, but I think it's going to be a go. Um, so if you see registration, um, just be um, be uh, aware that that is coming, um, potentially the spring retreat. And like always, I only do so many. So when they're gone, they're gone. Um, because they're a lot of work, but I love we love doing them. And... Um, one of my helpers was here today and already took a project home and started working on it. So there's there's that. Let me turn my camera around. Does anyone have any questions? Um, I'm glad you liked the cards. Uh, I'm glad, Nancy. Um, thanks for listening to me stumble over my words tonight. I, like said, hippo instead of rhino, and then it just, in my head, I kept, thinking I was saying everything wrong. So uh, thank you, those of you that stuck with me. Um, and I'm glad you know what I meant. So uh, that's what I have for you tonight. I hope that you have a great, a great night and rest of your week. Um, I will not be live next week. So that's why I have a little spring break special going on um, in my spring break class because um, we... We will, our family is going away next week. So if you email me, I might not respond next week. Um, but know that I will as soon as I can. Um, because um, 
I might have some li limited or spotty internet and I'm going to be enjoying my family next week to be honest too. So I need a little break and a little getaway. So I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.